Michael, let's go to the front of the uh, uh, Australian again, and this is a story that I'm interested in your thoughts on. RBA upbeat despite fire virus crisis. The Reserve Bank has predicted the economic hit from bushfires and the coronavirus will be short-lived as it uh, left the official interest rate unchanged, reaffirmed its growth forecast and maintained predictions that unemployment would continue to fall. Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe, in a statement released after the ABA's uh, board uh, meeting uh, today, remained positive on the general direction and outlook for the Australian economy. The bank uh, believes that reconstruction activity work in the wake of the Black Summer bushfires will counterbalance the damage wrought and hopes the short-lived SARS outbreak of 2003 will prove a template for the coronavirus scare. Now, um, I've got to say, Michael, I think that's wishful thinking. I think this is a, a much more punitive uh, and impactful uh, sort of uh, a virus than SARS. And we already know that when SARS happened in 2003, the Chinese economy was one-seventh, one-seventh the size of what it is now. We know that China is our major trading partner. They're our major tourism uh, partner or sort of tourism attraction. Um, I think the impact's going to be a lot worse than what the Reserve Bank is suggesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think um, the, the, um, Mr Lowe's due to give a speech at the National Press Club tomorrow, so I'd be curious to see how the, the journalists question him over this because it almost feels as if uh, he he's, doesn't want to be too pessimistic because that will have a, 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 a self-perpetuating effect, if you like. And if he doesn't be upbeat and the, the board doesn't be upbeat about the outlook for the economy, then uh, that could, of course, just send everything crashing down. So um, I think you know, Scott Morrison and uh, Josh Frydenberg would be very happy with the uh, Reserve Bank's outlook, but uh, I note there's a lot of other economists that disagree with that. Uh, it seems overly optimistic. Uh, and I said, as I said, maybe, maybe just to, because of the economy and uh, the situation is in such a, a state that uh, they don't want to uh, risk talking the economy down. Mm. Dan, uh, the forecast is uh, the economy to grow at 2.75%. Do you share that optimism? No, I do not. No, as you well know, Gleeso, and for the viewers, I covered uh, the central bank for a long time, and Dr Lowe sounds like a cheerleader in chief, uh, not a central banker. In fact, if you look at his predecessor, Glenn Stevens, you know, he had the demeanour of an Easter Island statue. You know, the simple fact is <laughs> the economy at the moment is not tracking well at all, and every key economic indicator, we've got employment slack. This coronavirus, as you quite rightly pointed out, China's economy uh, is dwarf what it was in 2003. And of course, you know, the Hong Kong, the Hang Seng, the Dow Jones took very, very steep dives based on that. So follow the money where this is concerned. <coughs> but the bottom line is, is that, you know, we don't know the full impact of this coronavirus. But what we're seeing at the moment is a country of a billion people effectively, they're quarantining large cities which is absolutely extraordinary. So the economic fallout, and it will be significant, make no mistake, particularly for a country such as this one, because industrial production grinds to a halt, trade is affected, and of course the inbound tourism and inbound uh, workers and commerce all coming uh, from Asia are all impacted by this. So uh, to hear Dr Lowe you know, sound upbeat, you know, he, he almost sounds... Uh, political and again that's not really the purview of a central bank they need to be uh, quite uh, cyber in their assessment of the domestic economy. 